Zoidal session steel. Now, I've had I've had somewhat of a battle with these harps over the years, over the last, over the, over the, you know the two years, two or three years that I've been been trying to play harmonica. Um, I I spent some time right buying and trying every harmonica I could get or afford or try to procure through buying and selling um, and and I've wasted a lot of time really where with tweaking and competing and trying to make things better and trying to find the best and that sort of thing instead of just playing it so that's been part of my uh, my downfall but I, I can say um, I can say this is you know yeah I, I definitely for some reason I love Zydell harmonicas right but this the session steals were I, I should imagine I, like looking back what happened was I think I went for one of those brass things that look a bit like this it's got black comb a silver plates and they're about £24 on Amazon. And I got it through the post. And, and I kind of thought, what the hell is this? And then <clears throat> then I googled it and quickly found out that they have brass reeds. And it's not this. See, I thought I was buying this. Anyway, the reason why I'm making this video is because um, I'm doing Tom Lin's harmonica school. And, um, I've, I've, you know, this has been my main harmonica now for, like, on and off. But what I mean is probably about the last four weeks. And, and there's been, like, a maturing to it. There's been a maturing. So I've had this harmonica for uh, probably about two years. I've opened it up and I've gapped it and I've embossed the read slots um so i have done a bit of work the the writing rubbed off of there it's the only session still that i ever had where the writing rubbed off um it's it's a lovely playing harmonica and now n now what, how i feel is th there there isn't any truth to really it's it's not like a, a a new car where you've got to, um sort of wear the brakes in a little bit, but um, this is different to this. It's a different machine. It's a different setup. It's different. I'm not I'm not saying it's better. I'm saying it's different. It's a different thing. So you've got to adjust. See, so look at the shape. So you've got to adjust. You're adjusting to the sound. You're adjusting to the shape. The embouchure is slightly different. It's pretty much the same in in so many ways. But um, and and especially where people uh, do say the steel reeds are somewhat resistant when it comes to bending and stuff like that. I'm not sure I agree with that. I don't know. Um, but I do know that um, those who advocate the steel reeds say uh, bending is more easier to control. So I agree with that. And I'm not telling you that that is a fact. What I'm saying is when it comes to hitting and holding a bend for me, um, I can say that that is true in comparison to owners but um but yeah I just just want to encourage anybody um because I know I've I've seen it in groups where people have they've said oh but I bought one of these and I just didn't get on it's just been set up my box I would say give it a go get it out but what I've had to do whether it be this is I've gone, right, I'm going to use this now for the next four weeks. 
to commit to get to, to settle in to settle into it you know and and so that's what i've done with this on the tomlin's course because see harmonica is not my favorite key but that's all changing now really because i'm getting mileage out of this harmonica as where before it was you know it was in in a case with more session steals and i would pick up the a <clears throat> classic so they classic as opposed to this and even or even the, the if i was going to use the c it would be the classic but um this is a robust piece of uh equipment so a few weeks i was using a few weeks ago i was using this and and um cover plate was bowed because i'd been taking it to work with me and i probably lifted something and crushed it a little bit so i thought oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put this to the test now um get it these come with leather pouches and and i swear by them i always carry the harmonica and the leather pouch and they never and and all the time i was putting the brass in the leather pouch i was kind of thinking is, is that any good i don't know but with the with the the with the steels in the leather pouch never get, never get any um any problems from that so session steel great harmonicas give it a go stick with it if you're looking for a harmonica um to start with then i would always say go for owner special 20 simply because you open them and they work they just work but uh, this worked out of the box but like i said i needed to gap it I wanted to emboss it with the Honor Special 20. You don't need to do that. You might want to, but I, if you're new, I would encourage you not to try and use it as it is for six months until you get the right advice on what to do, I would say. Otherwise, you do like I did, and you try and fix something that ain't broken, and you'll probably break it even more. So there you go.